Broadcom announced that it will provide customers with samples of the first mass-market chip to leverage a new generation of satellite navigation signals globally. This new chip will give the next generation of smartphones an accuracy of 30 centimeters compared to the current 5 meters. Even better, it works on the concrete canyons of a city and consumes half the power of the current generation of chips the BCM47755 has been included in the design of some smartphones scheduled for launch in 2018. GPS and other global GNSS satellite navigation systems, such as the European Galileo, the Japanese QZSS and the Russian GLONASS, allow a receiver to determine its position by calculating the distance from three or more satellites. All GNSS satellites, even the oldest generation still in use, emit a message called the L1 signal which includes the location of the satellite, the time and a pattern identifying the signature. A newer generation emits a more complex signal called L5 at a different frequency in addition to the legacy L1 signal. The receiver essentially uses these signals to set its distance from each satellite as a function of the time it takes the signal to move from one satellite to another. The Broadcom receiver first locks on the satellite with the L1 signal and then refines its calculated position with the L5. The latter is higher, especially in cities, because it is much less prone to multipath reflex distortions in L1.